Try Hack Me or Hack the Box. Let's go through both platforms to see what's one's best for you. I'm going to break this video down into three different parts. The first one being cost, the second one being the audience, and the third one being the ease of use. The first topic is going to be cost. So let me go over to my PC and I'll show you some of the costs that are associated with each website. Come on. So the most important thing for the average user is going to be cost. So let's go through the hack the box and look at some of their costs and see um, if it's beneficial or if you think maybe it's not beneficial. Let's take a look here. So they have the VIP um, membership uh, or subscription, whatever you may call it, and it's going to be $14 a month. Now that's going to come with um, some retired boxes which is nice to have and uh, there's only 24 hours of poem box per month that's it that's it the buzz killer for me um, you would expect that you would get a uh, hundred percent of the time you can use these poem boxes if you're paying monthly um, at $14 a month but unfortunately hack the box is not all for that um, the next one up they have is VIP plus Oh, you think you're fancy? $20 a month. And here you'll see that you're going to get the unlimited poem box with this, which is interesting. Um, a lot of other platforms don't do it this way, but that's why every platform is differently. Um, and you can pick the one that better suits you. Um, I've always noticed that I've been nervous about doing the $24 a month, I mean the $14 a month because of the 24 hours um that's a limitation and uh it's just something that i've been a little leery of so uh you, you make your own decision on that let's go on to uh try hack me so the next one up you guessed it try hack me um let's take a look and see what are some of their options and the things that they offer for their subscription uh so unlike hack the box uh, try hack me is going to do a one month uh, subscription here or an annual subscription either way the price stays the same it's ten dollars a month i mean i'm not a spokesperson for them but this is a fantastic deal it's not my fault they were calling to me i, I swear and they were all on sale and when you think about it that means that i am helping the economy which is more than i can say for you guys um but you can see here you're going to get the the machines 24 7 anytime you need the linux based machines you're going to get them so you're not going to have to spin up any vms or anything like that like you would have to do a hack the box after that 24 hours um, you're going to get all the pathways which i'll show you a little bit later in this video uh, you're going to get the faster private vm machines where you're not going to be sharing servers with other users from around the world you have your own personal ones which is just great um, and you can see down here you get some hacking challenges um, and the the biggest uh, plus to this is the amount of material that you're going to get for ten dollars a month is just incredible the next section of this video is going to be the ease of use of each platform i'm going to go through and show you some of the things and try hack me um, and and so, see how you can boost yourself educationally through these platforms uh, let's start off with try hack me first and as you can see here <clears throat> they have what they call learning paths um, these are great uh, for anybody who's beginning in cybersecurity or also uh, intermediate level in cybersecurity. You can go through and and this comes with the ten dollars a month. You go through and get all of these paths completed. If I could give uh, those who are watching some kind of um, pathway to where you should go if you're starting out I know that I appreciated that and frankly didn't see much of it when I had been looking through uh, YouTube on different videos for try hack me versus hack the box um, I would like to recommend some paths that maybe you'd want to take if you're starting out uh, I would say anybody offensive or defensive you're going to want to start out with introduction to cybersecurity. this is where you're going to get the foundational um, knowledge down uh, these th this is going to be the basics of the basics um, you need to understand the basics if you don't get the basics you're not going to be able to catapult yourself into the next level 
Um, after that, let's go into pre-security. You're going to learn a lot of networking basics. If you don't know networking, you're really going to have yourself at a disadvantage. You need to know networking. Um, know it. Live it. I would say that we'd move into the complete beginner where it's going to add some network um, fundamentals, but it's going to add some security to those network fundamentals and teach you how to secure these networks that you were just learning about. Um, and this is where you're going to either go red team or blue team, and the choice is yours. Uh, if you're going blue team, I'd say go the SOC level one and start learning through that learning path, and then maybe move on to the cyber defense. If you're going red team, I would suggest going to junior pen tester after the complete beginner, or if you're interested in the CompTIA pen test plus, go for the pen test plus. So if we continue to go through here, uh, you could see that there's just every single tool that you could think of that you could utilize in today's world with hacking and defensive security. You can go right in here. You can search for whatever tool you want. Um, I'm going to give you some advice. There was a tool here that I used, um, and it's called the Blue Box. This box is going to guarantee to help you in the eLearn Security Junior Penetration Tester, the EJPT, if you're interested in that. 100% this is going to help you. Uh, this box helped me tremendously. Um, it's just another example of how great TriHackMe has been um, and continues to be. Uh, so this box here, it's going to give you some um, tasks and you're going to be able to launch up your own attack box here which is going to give you a Linux instance and you'll be able to work and you're going to start to get flags and capture flags and do some good hacking I mean that's the fun part of this um, so this is great for that certification I used it and it helped me tremendously I'm going to make videos in the future about the EJPT and how I passed it successfully and the steps that I took you go over here I'm going to show you two different um, ways that you can approach uh, hack the box uh, you can either start with their starting point which is just a series of boxes that are fairly easy um, to complete now I'll just give you a uh, little insider here these starting box these starting point excuse me boxes are a leap and bound away from the actual boxes on the platform um, which I'm not too much of a fan of because of the jump in the knowledge base from the starting point to the actual boxes there is however um, a academy that they offer that is separate to the site itself and I'll give you um, an example here of what that is uh, this is their site here and it enables you to be able to buy courses and get fundamental knowledge of the boxes that you will be taking part of in the actual hack the box website now the caveat to this um, and it's a pretty big one at that uh, these um, modules here you cannot access unless you buy cubes now these cubes can go up to um, hundreds of dollars a year uh, and I don't think it's affordable for most folks to be honest with you um, but take a look at it if you got it and you're able to spend it more power to you it's definitely gonna bridge the gap more than you can afford pal between starting point and the actual machines themselves so let's get over to the machines here themselves. You see they show you easy, the medium, and hard. Uh, when you click on a machine, kind of like Try Hack Me, it's going to give you the instance of that uh, server with its IP. And you'll be able to um, start uh, enumerating and your methodologies for hacking. And you'll be able to uh, pwn this machine and then uh, submit the flag. And then you move on to the next one. Um, it's a it, hack the box is great for those who are a little bit further along in hacking and able to uh, really get down and start um, poning some of these boxes. It can get uh, exciting. One of the major dilemmas that I had uh, a few years ago when I got into security um, was which website was best for me for training. There's so many out there. I'm the kind of person I need a one track mind. 
so to speak. Um, I can't be jumping website to website. So for me, I wanted to know what is the best website for me to get started and what's the best website for me as I get better and move on and uh, start to tackle uh, new learning and education. Um, for me, this was a huge uh, annoyance of mine that I would go on YouTube and I would not see any good videos and I would just be sit there stuck and you know I wind up making my own decision and uh, so now that you have a good understanding of some of the different options that each website offers you um, I am going to now give my opinion and I know that when I'm watching any type of content related around um, a versus or should I choose this or that uh, it always falls short to some folks they don't actually give their opinion so I'm gonna give you my opinion obviously if you are new to cybersecurity go try hack me this is gonna be a great foundational path for you to go through some of these learning paths and really gain knowledge and get hands-on working experience all while being held your hand so to speak and um, it it does it even goes past that in my opinion uh, try hack me is going to be also wonderful for the the intermediate cybersecurity person um, this is somebody who's had a year or a couple of years of experience. There's still learning paths in there for you that are going to drastically improve your skills. Um, if you are in defensive security, there are paths for you in defensive security. There are different tools that you can use um, that can uplift you in your career to make you better. Um, and for $10 a month, you just can't beat it. Now, that being said, there are folks where hack the box would be better served towards you are you a strict strictly interested in offensive security are you strictly interested in hacking do you have previous hacking education and do you have a clear understanding of the methodologies of hacking if this is the case hack the box is going to be a hundred percent your option um, for those kind of folks so it's important to know what side you sit on. Uh, that being said, the folks that say, hey, I'm going to start off inside and, um, excuse me, cybersecurity, try hack me. If you want to go into try hack me and gain your knowledge and get to the point where you're like, you know what? I don't want to do blue team. I want to do red team. Let's jump over to hack the box now where I have a good methodology build up from try hack me and let's start working on some of those boxes. It's a great option. Uh, it's a great path for most people. Um, some folks, they just want to stay defensive, and that's fine. Still, Try Hack Me is going to be great, um, and you're going to get a lot of defensive knowledge out of Try Hack Me. So, with all of that being said, I hope that I was able to give each and every one of you a good understanding of each website and their benefits and the pros and cons so that you can make the best choice for you. Um, I have my personal opinion but you have your personal opinion um, so take what I said and with a grain of salt you know put your opinion and mix it in there and see what's best for you um, you guys comment down below let me know uh, if you have any other questions about this subject in particular I'd be more than happy to answer it and always like and subscribe to the channel and I'm gonna keep posting more videos um, this this video here was actually uh, a comment I received from one of my subscribers and I thought it was a great idea so I made the video so your comments don't go unnoticed and I would love to hear what you guys have to say thank you